What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I am John the Potter. I wanted to share with you guys today, we have our biggest event of the year coming up. An epic pottery event, August 12th and 13th. So that is this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. I'd love for you to join us. It's 9 a.m. to 5 on Saturday, 11 to 4 on Sunday. So many great pots. This video, we're gonna be talking about that event and also doing a studio tour. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the studio is set up right now and it is chaotic inside because we are, we're gonna have over six, seven, eight hundred pots probably for sale at this thing. Plus we'll have Raku demonstrations, so I'll talk about the Raku kiln a little bit. We got new gas fired in the gas kiln. So just lots of fun stuff coming. So this is gonna be a studio tour and talk about the Epic Pottery event. All right, let's go check it out. This is my studio and it used to be a detached garage that sat right here and then we picked it up, moved it, and closed everything, put windows in, and I'll show you how it's working on the inside. This is the wheel throwing area. So we now have two wheels. One's my wheel and one is Kai's wheel. So Kai is my studio assistant that works in the studio with me. So obviously pottery starts with clay. So all of our clay is stored right here. That shout out to Continental Clay for getting us all the clay we need. So this is our wheel throwing area. So this is where everything really starts. And we've obviously, we've been throwing lots today, as you can see by all the planters and vases and mugs and marbled stuff. So this is kind of where everything starts, right? In this area right here. Over in this room, so this was another room that we added, which is our kiln room. And we have three electric kilns in here, right? This one we typically use for bisque. So right now it is full and firing of bisque pots right there. And then this one we typically use for all of our electric glaze firing. And this one we use for testing. So tip, it doesn't get run too often. We usually store all of our pots over here. And as you can see, our glazing area, this kind of doubles as a glazing area as well as just other workspace. So in the middle of everything, we have our giant work table and then these tables work. We have a slab roller here and then finished pots go up there. Start with the clay and the wheels and then everything gets fired and brought into here to dry and then they get loaded into one kiln then brought back out into the glazing area. So after the pots are glazed, they either get loaded into the electric kiln or we now have our area that has the gas kiln. So this is the gas kiln shed. And as you can see, we have a full load ready. This will be fired tomorrow. So we got a full glaze kiln ready. And this is the kiln shed, which also comes out and you can walk through this little area right here. So this is our Raku kiln. And the fun thing about this Raku kiln is that it hinges open from here, right? So then we hinge it open, it's full of stuff right now, but that's how we get the pots out is we just hinge that open and then pull the pots out when it's super hot. So it's just a weed burner that's right here connected to our gas line. The other part would be just a computer here. So this is where we do editing, where we do any sort of business, accounting, book work that we need to get done in this area right here. And then we have our sink, which is a super important part of any pottery studio. This is our giant test tile wall that we have 676 different combinations of glazes. So there's 27 on top, 27 on the side, and then it basically just forms a big grid and then we can see what all the glazes do over top of each other. So if, for example, you know, this whole row up and down is copper ore over this one. So this is Norse blue. So copper ore over Norse blue, black matte over Norse blue. Super helpful to have test tiles so that if you're ever, if I'm ever wondering like, hey, what does this glaze look like over this glaze? Just refer to the combination wall and we have a good idea of what it's gonna look like. And I think that is about it. Air filter, lots of storage for glazes, and lots of storage for pots. So all these pots are going, are gonna be in our epic pottery event sale coming up August 12th and 13th. So pardon the super messy chaotic studio. A week from now, the studio is gonna be super clean, super organized, super put together. Everything is gonna be looking great. We'll have tons of pots outside for sale inside for sale, we'll be doing Raku demonstrations. So I just wanna talk a little bit about this event and where it came from and why I do it. 
So it really came from an idea I had when I was in North Carolina. And a lot of these wood fire potters who have these big wood fires, they'll do kiln opening sales where they don't actually open the kiln then, but they do a sale from that kiln. So they'll have like 500 pots in one kiln and then they'll do a kiln opening uh, where they sell all the pots. And I thought, you know what? I don't need to have a big giant kiln. I can just do an event at my studio. So I did an event that first year, three years ago. This will be the third annual Epic Studio event, Epic Pottery event. And it's just been really fun and exciting and tons of people have come out. We do Raku demonstrations. So if you don't know what Raku is, it's this firing technique where you fire things really hot, really fast. So it only takes about an hour and a half to get up to the top temp. And then while the pots are super hot in the kiln, we open up the kiln, we take the pots out, put them in garbage cans and it lights things on fire in the garbage cans. And we close the lid to recreate a reduction atmosphere. And I'll show you some of the pots. So these were a few of the pots from the last Raku that we did just yesterday. And so this is one that we took out of the kiln, put in a garbage can. And you can see that the atmosphere in the garbage can turns the clay black. And that's what's a really unique thing about Raku. So it has a little bit of glaze on there. Uh, and then the other thing you can do with the Raku is you can burn horsehair or feathers onto it. And just turns out with super cool, interesting effects, very fun. So we do a couple of those. I'll talk about the schedule here in a second. And then we'll do wheel throwing demonstrations. So I'll have my wheel set up outside. I'll throw bowls. I usually, whoever's there, I usually ask them if they want to see anything thrown, if they want me to try something. Uh, and then it's just a huge pottery sale. Like there's just tons and tons of pots for sale. So it's really fun. So if you're wondering about the schedule for this weekend, first thing we do at Saturday, we'll start the Raku at 10 o'clock. And I always do a little introduction about what Raku is and the pots inside and what we're going to do. And then that usually takes about an hour and a half. So then we unload it at 1130. 1130, we unload the rack. Between there, we do a, the first wheel throwing demonstration is at 1030. So we go 1030 to 1045. We'll do a 15 minute demonstration. And then we unload at 1130. And then at 1230, we'll do another wheel throwing demonstrations. So 1230 to one. And then we'll start another Raku at two. And then 230 to 245, we'll do a wheel demonstration. And then we'll unload the final Raku for Saturday uh, at 330. And then on Sunday, it's 11 to four, the event. And so we'll start the first Raku at noon. And then 1230, we'll do a, re a wheel throwing demonstration. And then 130 to two, we'll unload that Raku. And then the last wheel throwing demonstration for the weekend will be three to 330. So that is the schedule. There's just so much fun stuff. We have a dartboard you can throw clay at to get discounts. I'll have hats for sale this year. We have a glaze your own. So there's mugs or bowls or stuff you can choose from and you can glaze your own. I'm probably even forgetting some of the fun and interesting stuff we do. I'm there all weekend, Kai's there. We're gonna be taking custom orders this year. So if you're interested in getting a custom piece. Anyway, there's lots more work to be done before that, but I wanted to come on here and just say, hey, you guys are invited to the Epic Pottery event, August 12th and 13th. I would love to see you there. Um, we do this once a year. We prep all summer. We've been making hundreds and hundreds of pots for this event. So I'd love to see you there. All right. That's it for this video. Comment below. If you have any questions about the studio, I will try and get back to you. I know it's a total mess right now. So it's kind of a mess a lot. We clean every Friday. We mop really well. We clean up all the surfaces. So we may try and make sure we keep a really clean environment and studio while we're working in it. But then during the week, it does get a little out of control. Can't wait to see you guys. Events coming up. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Shh.